All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechachakodash. Double honors unto the elder high priest, all right, that taught my elder apostles as well as my elder apostles. A great millstone, all right, and elder bishops, all right. Double honors unto them, all right. I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel, all right. Starting with the 144,000 and the one third, okay. And this is the brother uh, Atazaria from the Great Millstone, Houston. And um, I'm going to get right into this lesson, Lord willing. It was, it'll be edifying. I saw this uh, scripture that was put up by Eldon on a, a social media platform. Um, and when I read it, I was like, man, let me see. I want to read that in, you know. Again, thanks to old vocab, you know, we got to pick, you know, starting with the apostles on down, you know, pick with this guy because, you know, he killed y'all on the KJV, KJ, oh, well, all right, we're going to get in the NLT, all right, so it can be a little clearer because we do understand that, you know, a lot of our people, you know, it's hard for them to, uh, to read this particular type of English, okay, because it isn't, it isn't uh, spoken, we don't speak like this to an extent anymore, okay, but um, anyway, I'm going to bring it out, because I, another thing, I wanted to revisit uh, Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter, all right, because the, the last lesson I had brought that scripture out, but I didn't, uh, it was a point I wanted to make. And um, I didn't, I, I thought about it later on. I was like, man. And then when I saw this scripture, I said, okay, well, then that's the spirit, man. I'm going to just tie them lessons in together. Okay. But anyway, let me shut up and bring out, I'm going to bring out Hebrews 12 and 11 first in the KJV. It reads, now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. All right. So, you know, that may be a little. OK, I mean, I understand what it's saying, but when we read here, all right, in the NLT, which I looked up a few versions, but this one was the bit, you know, I guess the. Uh, the simplest you know, to to be understood. So I'm going to bring it out in here. It says, no discipline is enjoyable, uh, Hebrews 12 and 11 NLT version, all right? No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening, okay? And again, this uh, discipline is the chastisement of the Heavenly Father, okay? It says, no discipline is enjoyable while it is happening, Salakia. While it is happening, it is painful. But afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living, okay, for those who are trained in this way. And the men of the Lord are going to be trained in this way, okay? They're going to be trained in this way, man. It says, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living, Okay, and that's what we want to be right as possible, you know. We don't like being wrong. Okay, it says, but there will be, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. Okay, and let me read it again in the uh, KJV. It says, now no chastening from for the present seemed to be joyous. Of course not. You catching it, you know, but we're being purified. Okay. This chastisement is 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 one and the thing I wanted to focus on. Okay, yes, it is purifying us, okay? It's making us holy. Alright. Another thing it's doing also is humbling us. Okay. It it, it it crushes that ego, all right? 
which we all have egos, okay? And as we grow in this thing, the more humble we ought to be, you know? That shows growth. Humility shows growth, okay? Because the scriptures say, the servant ain't above the master, and we know the Lord came lowly, okay? Because the most I want us to be in, 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 in obedience, man, okay? When I'm around my earthly father, I'm very humble around that man, okay? Same goes for the Heavenly Father, man. We ought to be humble in the sight of the Heavenly Father. All right? We're not supposed to be proud. All right? That doesn't take away from the knowledge and wisdom and understanding that we have. Because, see, when you grow in this thing, um, versus, like, when we, we first got started, we'd be out there giving a good cussing and all of that, and just getting nuts. But now, if you just bring out this understanding, that does all of the destroying. You, this word is the sword, but you learn that as you grow, you see? And you can give it, you can give, them, give it to them, you can slice them being very humble. Many have been cut, <laughs> spiritually cut. By a man in full humility. Okay? Didn't even have to get crunk, as they say. Alright? Well, let's go back. Alright? It says, um, Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Okay? Nevertheless, afterward it yielded the peaceable, peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Okay, or who are those that are trained this way? Okay, afterwards we'll receive a peaceful harvest of right living. Okay, this is what gives us this now we on the good foot. Okay, through this chastisement of the Lord. All right, and as I said, I, I really want to focus on that point about the most high making us humble because I wanted to revisit Deuteronomy the eighth chapter. Alright, which I'll get it now. Okay. And let me get it here. Alright, in the uh in the KJV Salakia. Okay. And um I'ma read the heading. It's Deuteronomy the eighth chapter. An exhortation to obedience in regard of the Heavenly Father's mercy and goodness in his dealings with Israel. Okay. Um, let me see. Mm, you know what? Let me just start at the top. All right. This is Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter in the first verse. As a matter of fact, I can do this. Okay. And you have it on the screen. The 8th chapter. 8. Alright. This is Deuteronomy 8 and 1. It says, All the commandments which I, have, which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live, you see, and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord your God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, swear unto your fathers, all right, and thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our power, led thee these 40 years, okay, in the wilderness to humble thee, you see, and that's why I wanted to get that, okay, to humble thee. And to prove thee, you see, and to know what was in thine heart or in our minds, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no, all right? And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger, okay? Chastising, 
and fed thee with manna which thou knowest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, by bread only. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm all in the New Testament. <laughs> you see? Because the New Testament constantly as it is written. This way it was written. So for people, well, that's in the Old Testament. Well, what the hell? What are you, what, what are these people, wacky tacky Christians, man? What do you think they was uh, quoting from as it is written? Well, on a, on a wall somewhere in the bathroom stall? On the on the, the side of a train? On somebody had it carved in a tree. People are crazy, man. Okay? They don't even think. It says, let me see where I'm at. Uh, that he, uh, in Deuteronomy 8 and uh, 3, it says, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, doth man live. See, the Lord humbles us so we can praise him and give it to him, man. Okay? The scripture says, what son is he that is without chastisement? All right. And it's a, it, it, a part of it is a thing of humbling us. Okay. To serve our power. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay. In humility. The penitent man. The penitent man. <laughs> I'm just... Thinking about old Indiana Jones. Um, and you know what, man? That's pretty much it. Okay? But I just wanted to go back on that because I didn't make that point in the last lesson I did. Okay? This was a thing of, of, of humbling us. Okay? And it's no different now. Okay? The more we grow, the more humble we are, okay? You can tell of a guy's understanding by his level of humility, okay? Ain't saying being a little wiener and going hide up under the coffee table. See, Jake gets shit twisted, man, okay? Jake gets shit twisted, man. People think being humble is, is being a, a wimp. Shit. <laughs> Tell that to the Lord. Tell that to, 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 to Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. Tell that to St. Matthew 10 and 34. Okay? The Lord had all of that power and still was humble. Okay? The servant ain't above the master. Lord willing, this was edifying. All right, and I'm going to close this on to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom.